Ah, the million dollar question. Well, when it comes to the different types of lagers, you have to understand, right off the bat, that there are five main lager categories. Pale lagers, amber lagers, dark lagers, bock, specialty lagers. These hold their own unique varieties. For instance, American pale lagers will have their differences depending on the brand, but they do tend to hold the same alcoholic percentages, about 4-5%. to The same goes for taste with an adjunct flavour and smell. Adjunct refers to unmalted grains. American pale lagers quench thirst quickly because of this distinctive flavouring and are designed to be served very cold. The different types of lagers, American pale lagers, like mentioned before, quality and overall taste will differ from brand to brand, especially in the mind of consumers that are not as beer savvy. This is thanks to every brand's advertising campaigns. Light in colour, watery, light and gassy, taste and aroma. Designed to be served very gold, they are the supreme thirst quencher of lagers, adjunct flavour and aroma. They have a delicate sweetness to them. American Dark Lagers A dark pale lager with a small amount of residual sweetness from the caramel malts and light roasted notes coming from the colouring malt. Deep Amber to Dark Brown Ruby Little to no malt aroma caramel or roasted notes. There are slight sweetness to it. It may taste like caramel, coffee or cocoa, roasted flavours when roasted malts are used. Bock beer. A strong dark beer, robust history and flavouring, which dates back to the medieval era. It's dark, amber in colour. A very light hoppiness, strong, robust malt flavours. A smooth mouthful and low carbonation. When more hops are added, it tasted maltier, heavier, and is darker. A Doppelbock. Rich body and high in alcohol. It was first brewed in the Italian Alps by monks of the St. Francis of Paula Monastery. It's dark ruby to brown colour and creamy head. Features a toasty quality and a strong malt presence. The body is rich and full. Dark chocolate notes can be found in the background. Most are smooth overall. Dortmunder Export It offers the maltiness of a Munich Hells and, on the other hand, the hoppiness of a Pilsner. This lager is all about balance and character. Features light to deep golden with a persistent white head. It's stronger than both Munich Hells and Pilsner. The aroma is grainy but somewhat sweet. It is a crisp but quite refreshing beer. Eisbock Eisbock or Eisbock is an anomaly in the brewing world. It's essentially a Doppelbock lager that has been frozen to concentrate its flavour and alcohol. It's strong, full in body and super rich. It ranges from copper to dark brown, although its lagering can make it lighter and provides more clarity. It's malty and toasty and a definite alcohol presence. In taste, it is sweet in malt flavours with some caramel and toasty qualities. Hellsbock, a paler Hells, pale in German, version of Bock beer, a distinctive overall crisp and clean lager, a stunning golden colour. It exerts a malt forward characteristic. It is a medium bodied and it is a bit beader in taste and pause heavy. Mailbock, it's brewed in Mai, May in German. In comparison to Hellsbock, it's much lighter and drier in the finish. It ranges from deep gold to bright amber. It has much balance, there are notes of a toasty malts and spicy, almost peppery notes from the hops. Meisenbeier Oktoberfest beers. Stored in caves over the summer and traditionally brewed in Mars, March in German, and served in autumn during harvest celebrations. It features a lovely amber colour. It is very malt forward and light and easy to drink. Munich Dunkel A darker and maltier beer compared to other lagers brewed in the region of Munich. It is also darker and maltier than the Munich Hells, its counterpart. It ranges from a deep copper to almost brownish red and pretty clear. 
It's medium to medium full bodied, maltier aroma combined with toasted bread. There might be spice hints with toffee, chocolate and herbs as well. Munich Hells This is a paler lager, clean on the palate, arising as a way of competing with the Czech's pilsners. It's bright golden in colour. It's sweet aroma with hints of spicy hops in taste. It is sweetly accompanied by malt forward hints with toasted bready elements, clean and moderately carbonated. Pilsner Pilsner lager beers originated in the Czech Republic. They incorporate a few floral aromas. They're what many popular American brand name beers aspire to be. It's medium to medium full bodied. It has pretty high carbonation. It is an amber to gold colour, but German Pilsner beers are much lighter in colour and body. It has a crisp and bitter finish, with varieties of hops that also have floral aroma. A round mouthfeel due to the alcoholic percentage, which is typically around 5%. The Schwab beer. This lager type originates in the northern Bavaria. It's darker and drier than the Munich Duckel and less sweet on the palate. Dark brown but not quite black. Moderate to moderate high carbonation. It holds a moderate malt taste which can be neutral or almost bready. It's smooth on the palate and has a medium to medium light body. It can also be floral, spicy or herbal in its variations. Vienna Lager Originating in the country of Austria, cousins of the Mazben beer, it was widely visible in Mexico more than its country of origin due to the ruling of Emperor Maximilian in the 1800s. It ranges from copper to reddish brown colour. It is brilliant to clear and has medium rising colours. Its bitterness ranges from very low to low. Its mild alcohol content and aroma of slightly roasted malt. The malt is slightly sweet. Hopefully you get to try them all. Show off to your friends and pinpoint your favourites to have them over meals, get togethers, barbecues or just when in the mood. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed the video. Goodbye.